Hi and welcome to the EX Review. My name is Paul and today we're going to look at some of the daily sport or even the Sunday sports. Um, how can I put it? Bait headlines. <laughs> so let's have a look shall we? World War II bomber found on the moon. It's a bit out of focus but not much I can do from the archive. Um, so the sport is always famous for uh, doing bullshit stories like this especially on a Sunday <laughs> and they're also famous for something else pure smut and how they got away with it for so long I will never know Fireball Space Aliens bombed me behind Farm Feed exclusives a fireball from space that lit up the sky across the east of Scotland last week brought terror north of the border but for Ke uh, but for Kirk Laddie housewife Gwen Collins, the media brought more than heavenly wonder. It brought two randy space aliens who treated her to get out of this, treated her to out of this world tattoo set, uh, taboo sex. Sorry, it's a bit hard for me to read on this. It's quite small. <laughs> Gwen, 35, was returning from a quiet early morning, early Monday drink with friends and temporarily lost her way, ending up in a car park behind a local branch of bargain frozen food store, Farm Foods. She told Sunday Sport, I saw this huge flash in the sky and I said, ouch. Next thing I know, the two space aliens came up to me and said, all right, Gwen, do you fancy a twos up? <laughs> Wife shot threesome hobby. A woman murdered her husband and another couple after finding the three in bed together, say police. Crystal Gambino left, put at least one of the bodies in the wheelbarrow and took it to the garden to burn it. <laughs> Let's see what the next one's got to say. I wasn't flashing my willy. I was shoplifting sausages. A sex pervert who was spotted waving his salami in the meat section of his local supermarket told cops he was stealing sausages. <laughs> it's got to be true. It was in the Sunday sport. The horse wankera. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, I can only make out the headlines because it's a bit fuzzy. Um... A Brit who travelled to Florida because he was told it was legal to uh, have sex with horses there was stuff was stunned to be told his uh, now he now faces jail. <clears throat> Pouring poppy candy under my foreskin was the biggest mistake of my life. <laughs> 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 what, is this, what is the taste of your childhood? Fish fingers, Corona dandelion, and burdock despair. <laughs> For many, many millions, the fizz of popping candy takes them right back to the innocent days of long hot summers, the Queen's Jubilee, and the man and the man who hung about under of the viaduct, exposing his winkle. Get out. Loch Ness Monster is Nazi U-Boat. <laughs> Hide and seek champ found dead in cupboard. <laughs> and this was December the 3rd, 1995. <laughs> is this the weirdest man in Britain? Rushed to A&E with his todger stuck in a NatWest pig. <laughs> So, if you're from out of the country, yeah, NatWest is a bank, and uh, back in the uh, 90s, they handed out a porcelain uh, piggy bank pig for uh, for the kids uh, when they opened up their new bank account. Harry Styles got stuck up my ass. Kevin's miss up with One, dire one Direction doll. 
Music fan Kevin Worrell had to seek urgent hospital treatment to remove One Direction heartthrob Harry Styles from his arse. The diehard 1D fanatic had to undergo emergency surgery to extract the handsome singer's lookalike plastic doll from his seized rectum. <laughs> Factory worker Kev 33 was in the operating theatre for five hours whilst medic whilst medics teased out the figure using lube, forceps and pliers. <laughs> Luckily, crack surgeons managed to get enough purchase to ease it out. <laughs> BBC Monkey killed whilst bombing more. <laughs> A Randy Monkey who found fame on a BBC show about animal sex habits has been killed attempted to bonk the warthog. Three year old male Bonobo, a relative of the chimpanzee, appeared on Animals in Love presented by Liz Bonin. <laughs> Viewers saw footage of the family relationships of uh, Bonobobs which lives in the uh, Democratic Congo Republic of Congo. The Yates have astonishing sex lives and are famed as the, world, as the world's most promiscuous primates, apart from women from Warrington. <laughs> <laughs> Jezza Tranny had sexed up my alley. Sex up. Jezza Tranny had sex up my alley, then wipes the mess up with my wife. <laughs> <laughs> Adolf Hitler groped my boobs. One of Hitler's last acts before committing suicide in his Berlin bunker was to grope a pretty assistant's breast. <laughs> yes, of course he did, sweetheart. Of course he did. World's laziest slob lies in bed for 56 years. <laughs> Easy going John Richards last night claimed the title claimed the title super slob after staying in bed for an incredible 56 years September 4th 1988 <laughs> oh, <laughs> what else is on the co uh, on the font cover giant sprout from outer space ate my pal intergalactic exclusive zoom to page 3 Brother's Bedroom Secrets, Ex-Lover Opens Her Heart. <laughs> Sunday Sport, um, Monkey Lands Plane. <laughs> uh, Sunday, August 30th, 1992. Princess Diana's Untold Story, so uh, yeah. <laughs> I can't read any of the notes on there. Same with this one. A two headed Santa eats his reindeer. <laughs> Exclusive to slay the rest. <laughs> Statue of Elves, Elvis found on Mars. <laughs> Bungling Docks lose 13 inch iron bar in Op Man's belly. <laughs> First, uh, and. <laughs> Whilst they're going on old Imperial there uh, in 1989, you've also got Three Inch Dog Ate My Misses. <laughs> Boss found buried at the South Pole. <laughs> and that's uh, 1988 as well. Has this man bonked your Christmas turkey? <laughs> Fiend caught uh, nuts deep in festival bird. That's interesting. Let's have a look, shall we? A pervert admitted having sex with many thousands of turkeys, leading to fears of poultry spunk tainted pa uh, panic this Christmas. Vile Arthur Soames was caught nuts deep in a clearly distressed bird at a farm in the west of England, which cannot be named for legal reasons. <laughs> the 68 year old former farm worker admitted two counts of bestiality under the Sexual Offences Act 2003 as well as two of burglary and one of criminal damage. Ho ho no, I caught Santa hanging out the back of my mum. <laughs> 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 uh, 
we've all heard the Xmas chin about mummy kissing Santa Claus, but for Harry Peters, this fantasy became a nightmare after he caught St. Nick stuffing his stepmother. <laughs> Banned from Chinese buffet for shitting in the seaweed. Graham 52 had drunk two bottles of vodka. <laughs> <laughs> Jamie Clarkson killed my puppy <laughs> Right so if you don't know who Jezza is Jamie Clarkson He used to be one of the presenters on Top Gear Until he got fired for hitting uh, <laughs> one of the producers And uh, this obviously come out around about the same time <laughs> Obviously bullshit because it's from the uh, Sunday Sport <laughs> Monkey buying Jacko who ghost is real <laughs> Relief for a couple of Spectre reappears. <laughs> a couple who claim their monkey had been bummed by the ghost of pop paedophile Michael Jackson say the festival vic they feel vindicated after the Spectre appeared again in Kent. Brian and Beryl Curls faced public ridicule last year after telling Sunday Sport that the pop phantom had anally violated their pet uh, Marky Silas. Jacko fans dubbed obscene graffiti on their house in Crewe, Cheshire, and uh, the and deleted followers of the pra of the prancing nonce threatened <laughs> threatened them harm. <laughs> Twenty Brits girls have sex for booze on Magaluf pub crawl. Well, that that I can believe. <laughs> Arrested at airport for six foot willy. <laughs> Why did this man push 114 watts up his bottom? The answer may shock you. In the 80s, before anti-obesity police banned such tasty treats, barely a school child's lunchbox of the land was without a packet of watts. The cheesy corn puffs turned youthful fingers bright orange from... Uh, from Peterhead to Pe uh, Penzance and still retain the fond place in the memories of millions. But these memories will, were sullied last night by a sickening news that feeble minded Alan Reaper had inserted no fewer than 114 watts into his anal cavity. Once more, the, 60, the 46 year old Dimwit boasted of his dubious feet on social media and claimed his own mother had encouraged a stunt. <laughs> <laughs> Mentos and Diet Coke enema almost cost me my <laughs> Millions have delighted at the explosive fountain created by dropping a Mentos mint into a bottle of Diet Coke. The phenomenon was discovered by two Ukrainian scientists in 1983 winning them a Nobel Prize for Chemistry and has been at the forefront of popularising science in schools around the world. But like every scientific advance, there were those who abuse it. When portly Gavin Hooper first witnessed the powerful jet of soda shooting from a pop bottle, his first thought was to direct the, erection, the eruption up his arse. Needless to say, the sexual experiment did not end happily for the 26-year-old unemployed retail assistant from Wrexham, North Wales. The human rectal passage is primarily designed as an exit, not an entrance. Introducing high-pressure gas and liquid into the anal cavity can be especially taxing for God's arrangement of the rear end. Gavin said, I trembled with anticipation as I hovered over... My hovered my rosebud over the neck of the bottle and dropped in the Mentos. But as soon as the foam started shooting up my ass, I knew something was very, very wrong. Rather than enjoying the sublime pressure, it felt like my colon was bursting. In the kind of agony that overcomes embarrassment, Gavin dialed 999 and he was at rush to hospital for an emergency venting procedure. Red-faced Gavin told Sunday Sport last night, My search for sexual thrills almost cost me my ass. I should have read my uh, Bible more closely for in Leviticus 12, 6. It says, Thou shalt not put of stuff into an into the old fund uh, fundament that you know you should not put there. 
Right, well, I hope you've enjoyed this. This has tickled me something chronic, and it's it's great. I love the British media when they're, they're just printing basic bullshit. The sport doesn't ever take itself seriously. They know that they're, what they're printing is lies. And I wish that the rest of the uh, legacy media would just admit that half the time they just print lies and just run with it like the sport does. But anyways, if you've enjoyed this video, please hit like, subscribe and share. And if you want to check out any other content from Muster X Media, please click the links on the screen now. And I'll catch you next time. Bye.